Hello everybody and how are we doing today? Good? Good. Now obviously if you watch the Be A Pros, then you will have known that I record a lot of videos at a time, so usually the comments and stuff are not taken into consideration for at least a couple videos. And that is exactly what is happening right now. I am going to change our equipment based on a comment I saw a couple videos ago. I actually don't even remember doing this, but I added more black to the equipment than I thought, because the comment was to make it pretty much blackout, which I thought would be really cool. But I am actually kind of digging this. Okay, I added a little bit more to the pads, or the mini wheats if you will. So, it looks kind of even now. I think I want to change the font color on the blocker to be black as well, or do I want to change that stripe to be black, and then have the gold font on it. These are the questions. Yeah, you know what? I like it like that. I think it looks good, and... I, and I was just so hard to make equipment for, because they have, like, three, four different colors, and I can't even match them, really, because when I go to the color wheel, they don't have that as a choice. Oh, I guess they kind of do. I don't know, though. It looks wrong, because that part of the jersey is so subtle. It's, like, off to the side, but... I feel like it's got to be included. It's absolutely hideous and I think I love it. Yeah, that's my first executive decision of the video. New equipment, locked in. And with that, I will bring announcement number two. I do not want the seasons to drag on in this Be A Pro. I want to get through things quick, get the career moving forward. So no matter how many games I have to simulate, we are going to surpass the trade deadline in this video. And then we are going to finish the season in the next one. So basically, within the next two videos, including this one, we're going to be done the season. I think ideally I want to finish seasons in, I don't know, like four episodes, roughly. Just because that way, if we're basically guaranteed to not make the playoffs, we aren't dragging it out. If we are guaranteed to make the playoffs, we're not dragging it out. If it's close then maybe I'll reconsider near the end and we can make two episodes after the trade deadline, something like that. But yeah, that's what I'm going with. So we are playing against the Rangers. Let's see how it goes. Power play for the Ducks right off the bat and we cannot capitalize. You hate to see it. Come on, let's get the first goal. Let's strike first. Another power play. They're handing us the game. There it is. Cam Fowler scores on Igor. They only have five shots right now. I shouldn't say anything because they are going to score on their sixth. That's how it works. Okay, they score on their 10th. Philip Heedle buries one, and now we give them a power play. But we get one right back, and they were both killed off. Shots are 19 to 13 right now in favor of your mighty ducks. And it looks like, unless we have a last minute hero here, we are headed into the third, all knotted up. So I have heard that there is the option to disable tethering somewhere, but I don't know where. I take it back. I just did a quick search and it looks like it's coming in late October. And we are currently in early to mid-October. Well, I guess by the time this video comes out, we will be in mid-October. Or just past, I think. Oh no. Oh no. Not Panarin! Yeah, big save! Big low save! Troy Terry goes behind the net to Frankie. Oh, what a play and what a save by Igor! This is a spicy start to the third period. And Mika Zibanejad's coming back for the Rangers. Has it taken off him by Jamie Drysdale. And we are headed back. Trevor on the wing to Terry, who goes for a toe drag and also a pathetic backhand. What a combo. What a shot by Ryan Strom! And what a dish off by Terry as well. We have the lead. It is a 2-1 hockey game, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I said that as one long word. Ladies and gentlemen... Buddy, mix in a water, jeez. All right, yeah, that was a absolute snipe. So I guess in this video, we will be finding out if our squad makes any trade deadline acquisitions for a potential push. Oh my word, so close. Trevor's still with it, he's fighting, and he loses it to Fox. I wonder, actually no, I don't think there's been another update. So the uh, dump-ins or clears, whatever, I, why can't I think of the word? Is that it? Just dump-ins, clears? Anyway, hopefully they will be fixed soon as well, because right now something has gone horribly wrong. What a terrible shot. Let me get it. Let me get it. Get back there. Why are you so slow? All right, here we go. Should I go for the goal? No, I shouldn't. Ha. Faked you at 1-6, didn't I? You had no idea which way I was going. Only four seconds left, so 
We will not be scoring on the power play. We actually almost did there. It's okay. Had some good pressure. Lafreniere. He scored a goal in their season opener. So, that's good. What a save! That was a howitzer from up close and personal. Like, that was in his personal bubble. And somehow, he still managed to get his mitten on it. Why? Also, for what? I didn't see a trip. What a joke. Alright, here we go. We do have... A penalty kill in front of us here. They're moving the puck quite well. That was... I think our own player put that in. If I'm going to be honest. I didn't fully see what happened there. But what I did see is man slamming his stick on the ice. So that's a dead giveaway. But let's see. Yeah. What are you doing? He basically backpedaled it into the net for them. There's the initial shot. It got tipped. I had it right off the... Middle rib cage there on the right side. Cameron. What's going on, buddy? Well, in the blink of an eye, our one goal lead has magically disappeared. It has David Blaine. We almost got it back. Big save, and they have a rebound. All right. We're clear. Zegris over to Terry. I like it. Stops up. Oh, gets it to that guy. Seagrass, nice try. Frankie with it still. Fox is too good. You're not going to take the puck off him with a simple little poke like that. Naren over to Zabinijad. And he's walking out. Goes to the point. If you did that again, Cam, I would have asked to be traded. Oh no, don't let them walk out. You just redeemed yourself. That was Redemption 101. Because if that got to the guy back door, my reaction time was so delayed there, he would have had the entire net. Just missed the net. Was that Strom again? I feel like he's getting all kinds of chances right now. Nice keep. Ooh, okay. I like the idea of that. Don't you dare take another penalty. McTavish. Strom! He is carrying the boys right now. Lorne loses it. Kako gets it. Of course. Yep, exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. No goal. Yeah, I couldn't react in time. I mean, I, I wouldn't have saved it even if he didn't hit me, but they don't need to know that. No goal. I need to up my smothering the puck game because right now it is non-existent, actually. If you guys could get a goal in the next 3.30, I would greatly appreciate that because I'm not... Feeling the whole three-on-three -three thing. Oh, come on. That's a goal. Yeah, right. He could have saved that. Leeson did nothing here. He's an innocent man. I find it funny, but incredibly annoying that some fans are actually like that and actually think that way. Like, if it happens to their team, it's like the worst thing ever. The league is rigged. And then, you know, when it's in favor of their team, it could be the exact same thing. And they're like, yeah, 100%. Like that Boston commentator guy. I think his name is Jack Edwards, maybe. He is a massive homer. See, that one I don't get. He wasn't saving this. It literally came back up off of our guy's chest or chin or something. Oh, it's... Yeah! Let's go! Trevor puts the Ducks up by one. And with that draw, we have reached the two-minute warning. Smother it. Okay. I keep forgetting about the prediction system, I think it's called. I could try to use it here. Oh! Smother? 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 Is triangle not smother? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yep, saved again. And please, can we get this puck out? I appreciate... <laughs> Zegris was screaming down the wing. And Igor did not care. He's like, nah, I'm getting off. I Get me out of here. Oh! No, get up. Get up, get up, get up. What are you doing? At least make it look like you're trying. Hit the side of the net or something. Filipedal goes down. Okay. 
Okay, but how though? He went five hole, didn't he? Oh. My. Word. I don't really know if I can control that. I think that was just a save animation. I mean, I guess if I hug the po- No, he still could have. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we're headed to OT anyway. Come on, Trev. Let's go in early. Ooh, big shot. But Igor was up for the challenge. Here's Panera. Ah! I missed. Like, I really missed. At least we get a point out of it. We are not in against Buffalo. Which, yeah, I mean, our last game, that checks out. I think we lost. So that's unfortunate. We're going up against the third place, Dallas Stars. Sim that. Go to 24. Massive. That is a huge win. Okay. Conversation with the coach. Speaking of puck stoppers, Ray, James. It was basically just about me not even being considered for the Calder, which I don't care. The eighth placed Minnesota Wild. They have 27 wins. Well, let's see how this one goes. Hopefully, I can have a bit of a redemption game here because that first one was a stinker. And if you remember, I believe it was the last video where I ended with a stinker and said that I was happy it ended that way and didn't start that way. So, I, yeah, well, it is what it is. It honestly could have been so much better if that Laffy Taffy goal just didn't happen. But it did. So we gotta move on. And it is 2-0, a shorthanded goal. Guys, smarten up out there. Power play for the Ducks. I like to see it. 2-1. 3-1. Nick Patan. I didn't even know he was still in the league. Okay. Yeah, I think this is... Uh, we'll jump in anyway. It's possible. It may be unlikely. But there's a chance. Oh yeah? And I will toss it over to you. Jamie Drysdale, who gets absolutely rocked by Kirill the Thrill. Smother it, please. I think he actually tried that time. So... That's nice to see. The effort's there. Yeah, what a pass. What a shot. The lead is down to one goal. And the humble celebration from Mason McTavish. Just the cheeky little fist pump down there. All right, so we are right back in this thing now. Oh, smother. Okay, so that's that's the part of my game right now that I really need to improve on. I feel like overall my positioning is relatively good. And, you know, the shots from a distance, I'm okay at saving. But once it gets really up close, I got to get better at actually keeping in butterfly. And, yeah, maybe throwing a poke check in there. So, you know what? It's our first season. It's our first season. Because I feel like if I was in butterfly there, that goal wouldn't have happened. Okay. This ain't good. There's also the whole thing with like tip shots though, and there's not really much I can do about that. If a shot gets tipped, like, it is what it is, you know? Come on, here we go. McGinn, you're so slow. You almost made it work though? What a move. Ooh. I like the effort, but Gus is having himself a game right now. Unlike me. <laughs> having a rough one. Hartman gets stood up at the blue line. But Patan scored a goal in this game. Will he score another? Is in over the line. I've had it. Hopefully at least the last game is a good one. Because right now we have had two rotten starts that need to be forgotten about. Down low. And in the slot. That will go off of something. Kirill the Thrill goes for a pass back to the points. Skate! Skate! Ooh! Close side shot, not going to happen. That only works on me, apparently. Spurgeon goes to Eriksson Ek in the glove and get rid of it. Guy keeps it in at the blue line just to wire one at our own player's ankle. That is a bold strategy. And honestly, it feels like there was some pettiness behind that. All right, the Wild are on the attack here. And Spurgeon, I'm holding Butterfly. That went well. What happened there? That was really weird. I guess he got hit hard and his body just kind of flailed. I don't even know. But anyway, we can move on. And we can move on to this sick save that I don't have to make. 
do have to make that one, though. Okay, goalie, recover, please. I feel like that's also a factor that our overall is very low. Like, once we get up to the 90s for recovery and stuff like that, I think we'll help a lot. If not this year, then I do 100% sense a playoff run next year from the Mighty Ducks. We might even be able to somehow sneak in this year, though. It's not looking great, but it's also not looking too bad, really. There you go. And I guess I'll get out of Butterfly now. Okay. All right. A another player leveled right in front of me. You know what? Just for that, you're done. You are... Maybe he saw that I was starting to come down and he got scared and just let in a goal. That's the theory I'm going with. He actually got a big piece of it. And yeah, just no way. Blocker, pad, and then in. Hate to see it. I mean, I don't hate to see it, actually. I love it. All right, so yeah, get me out of Minneapolis. And then the next game that I play, it's it's got to be a good one. That was just an unbelievable passing play. That one, I got to give credit where it's due. There are good days in racing, and there are bad days in racing. Scott Sterling just had himself a bad day. Talladega Nights. In case you didn't know. I don't even know if that's what the quote says word for word, but <laughs> we slide to 16th in the league. Sim? That's another loss. Oh no. It's not looking too good here. And it's taking a while to sim up to this one. Hopefully we're not already at the deadline. Let's go to the calendar view. How many games do we have before? Okay, yeah, so we are definitely chilling. We'll have one start somewhere in the month of February. I hope. Down to 20th in the league, and we steal a win against the Oilers. And this game is actually pretty big, because 16th and 17th, Montreal Canadiens. Obviously, east and west, so doesn't matter that much, but still. Okay, this has to be a good one. I have to play this game. We can't have three brutal performances in one episode. I mean, we could, but I'm hoping we don't. I gotta try taking the stuff that I feel like I've been learning, and apply it to this game and then really try to drill it in there. Thank you, Terry. Awesome. What a way to start the second period. We have a two goal lead. Ryan Strom buries one. And things are looking good for the Ducks. Three nothing, even better. Cam, you legend. Okay, that takes the pressure off. It is a three one game. We better not blow this. All right, when the puck is up close and personal, stay in butterfly. Try to avoid hugging the post. Use poke check. Smother. Ew. This is a great game to really practice some stuff here. Okay, don't hug. That could have been a terrible start. But I feel like the game kind of threw us a bone there. So, thank you, NHL. Appreciate it. Big draw win for the Duckies. Fowler decides he's going to hold on to it forever and a day. All right, what can we do here? Suzuki, I knew he was going in the middle. What is with our players? There was no reason for him to do that. None. He did that on purpose. I quit. You know, I retire. I'm done. I don't want to play in the NHL. I don't even want to play hockey anymore. That is a sick joke. Thankfully, we got that beauty right off the bat. So we do still have a two-goal lead. Ooh, almost a three-goal lead. Big hit in the corner there. Another big hit. Throw in the body. I like it. We're up by two. And we are... Throwing some weight around. And we are headed to a power play. I'm a fan of that. I was just thinking, even if we do get into the playoffs, we are definitely not going to be the starter. So it'll be like a simulation playoffs anyway. But it'd be cool to get in in our first year, nonetheless. They took another one. They just got off of killing a penalty and Jonathan Taves. That's interesting. Here's Anderson. Gets it back to Matheson. Gets absolutely nothing accomplished except for that. What a goal. 
Silverberg just burned past him. Sends it over to Captain Henrique. Who then brings it to the backhand and roofed it. Let's go. What a pass. What a finish. We are... I think we're up by three now. Yeah. Gonna be a dub. I'm guaranteeing it. I don't know if anyone else plays be a pro or if they have this in the other modes. I'm assuming they do. But the concession people that are, I guess, like on the stairs... It's just a sound bite. But anyway, that's who I'm assuming it's supposed to be. They have the funniest voice. Nope, not gonna happen. But every now and again, all I hear is ice cream bars. Get your ice cream bars here. <laughs> Goal Caulfield. He's in. He rips one. No challenge for Scott Sterling. And you know what? It's been a minute. It has been a minute. So let's go. Who's even in net for them? I don't know. <laughs> I love how the puck just becomes, like, uninteractable. It's Jake Allen. All right. All right, Jake. Oh! And... Oh, he got... All right, I see you. Let's go. Let's go. He's going to throw one right away here. And time it. Boom. And... He's, like, really throwing me off here. Oh, no. We're losing. Okay. Yeah. GG. No re. Thanks for coming out. 8-1. I'm going to have to ask you politely to move... Thank you. Normally when I ask people to move after a fight, they just double down and don't budge. Whoa. Got caught with his head down. That must have hurt. Also, what a save. Zucker's coming in. He loses it, but Monahan picks it back up. Yep. I'm staying in Butterfly when it was up close. Okay. So, that's good. I need to really... Go out of my way to think about it. But eventually, it will just become a habit. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm going to see if it's possible. Oh, no, I'm not because he is right there. <laughs> I will pawn it off to Fowler. The player didn't even, like, try to take it off of me, though. So maybe I could just go for it. That just missed the net and also just missed Silverberg in front. Save on the Dvorak blue line clapper. Let's go, Henrik. Let's go. Ooh. Get nifty out there. I guess, yeah, we have a pretty big lead right now, so we don't need offense. Ooh, nice try, Hoffman. Other than the fact that it wasn't. No? Is he going to try again? No. He gave up. Saw my first save, and he's like, oh, this guy's good. Which I assure you, I am not good. But... I'll take it. Five seconds remaining. Will I get a final shot? I do. All right. Massive win. They did only have 25 shots, so it wasn't an amazing game, but compared to the other two we played, I will 1000% take it. So we're probably going to have a thousand meetings that interrupt this, but I am simulating up to this game in Dallas, or I guess I should say against Dallas. I don't know if it's in Dallas or not, but we'll have a look at our lineup and then go past the trade deadline and see if anything changes. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. Am I getting scorched? Oh. Okay. That's, yeah. I thought I was going to get roasted, so this is fine with me. Ooh, we actually did have it. A 4-2 win over the LA Kings. We lose to Smashville. 5-0 win over the Sharks. Oh my word, we're actually winning a lot here. 31 wins. If we have 32, then that is nice. We have a nice amount of points, I think. Can't really read that font. But I think we have a nice amount. We're tied with Calgary. So this is what our lineup looks like currently. We've got Terry, Zegris, and Vitrano. McTavish, Strom, Silverberg, and then our depth down here. Defensively, Fowler, Drysdale, Braun, and Colton White. All right. Let's him pass the deadline and see what they do. If anything, sim this game. They are second in the league. Wow, we have 31 wins. Can we make it 32? You won't. You won't. Hello? Okay, we didn't win. Um, let's sit up to this next game here against the Isles, maybe. And we're in for that one. Okay, perfect. So we're 20th in the league, 31, 25, and 7. Playoffs are looking unlikely, although possible. I do want to get our recovery up. So I'm going to go here, and this is recover. Purchase that. And it didn't even get us an overall, or one in the recover, but it went up a little bit, so that's nice. And speed, can't do that. Yeah, I'll 
improve vision a little bit. Moment of truth, view lines. Did we do anything at the deadline? No, it doesn't really look like it. So that's unfortunate. Defensively, yeah. I think we're running with the team we have. Okay, all right. So here we are. We have a nice amount of points. We are right there. Like, look at this. It's possible. The dream is still alive. The Golden Knights dominating. They have 86 points. I guess the Stars have 85, so I shouldn't say dominating, but... 41, 19, and 4. That is outrageous. Trevor Zegras, 60 points in 54 games. And then we've got 60 in 61 from Terry. Strom doing not bad. McTavish. Yeah, Vitrano for his overall, we take that. Gibson is carrying the back end of this team. 21, 14, and 4 with three shutouts and a 9, 16. We just won't even talk about this. I don't even see anything, actually. I don't know what you're talking about. Jake Ottinger leading the league. He also has a 9, 24. Kid is nasty. EK65 still on the Sharks. So yeah, it took whatever roster, but it's not much I can do about that. Um, Doing well. And for forwards, we have a pretty close race, actually. And Pavelski's up there, so is Patrice Bergeron. I do not understand. Well, in the next one, we will most likely be finishing the season. And the playoff hopes are still alive, so there is a chance. It's a sliver, but it's a chance. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. And yeah, hopefully the real NHL underway is being consumed by you as well. Very excited to get the hockey season going. If you could like, that would be fire. Uh, maybe it would help Scott play better. <laughs> uh, and subscribe, you'll just get a shutout. That's like a fact. But anyway, I'll see you soon.